Welcome to the channel and welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's tutorial, we're going to be building the Kami Type 2 Amphibious Light Tank. While tanks were mainly in the Japanese Imperial Army, the Imperial Japanese Navy owned their own land force, land forces known as the Special Naval Landing Forces, or the SNLF. Their standard tanks was the Type 95 Hago, but the SNLF wanted a more capable tank for the role, namely one fitted for amphibious operations. The Japanese have touched on upon the amphibious tank concept since the 1930s, but one for the rough seas needed more durability than one for the rivers. The IJN approached Mitsubishi in 1941 to develop a new amphibious tank called the Kami Special Craft. The vehicle, accepted as the Type 2 Kami, began production in 1943. Up to 182 tanks were produced from then until the end of the war. Now that a little history is out of the way, we can look at the build. It's pretty, just small, boxy. I think it's kind of cute. I don't know. But other than that, the track's kind of cool. It doesn't really dip that far down uh, much in the real vehicle, but it's a little hard to represent in the first place, so a little inaccurate in that respect. But it does have the two propellers at the back. But fair, um, I guess, uh, thing you should know about this vehicle when if you're building it, uh, don't place it actually in the water because this vehicle or well, this tank does not have the, um, I think, amphibious additions to it, which is what these buttons are. The, well, not the amphibious additions, but the buttons resemble things that would attach to the amphibious thingies. Yes, that's totally what I meant to say. Other than that, it's just a small vehicle, so it shouldn't be not hard to build, so let's get started. For our first layer, which is actually layer uh, technically zero, we're going to take some nether bricks and dig a, a row of one, two, three, four, and five. And replace these blocks with nether bricks. Do that again with a row of three in between. That will do it for the zeroth layer, and we can move on to layer one. To begin layer one, we're going to place a nether brick slab on the block in front of the row of five nether brick blocks built in the ground. And as always, one more nether brick slab just right in front of it and above. We're now going to take some, I think, what are these called? Grand stones, right? Yeah. And we're going to have to place them a certain way, and I don't exactly remember how to do it, so we're just going to just guess right here. Okay, so it seems we need to place a placer block like this. Get it facing this way, placing the grand stone facing that way, so the first two will connect to each other. We want to do this for our second row. There we go, and place her. Nope, I don't want to face it like this. Okay, so in the end, you want them facing something like this, but we're going to cover it with item frame, so it doesn't really matter, but come on. There we go. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. And place inside the item frame is just normal stone. Like that. And we're going to take a black banner, go into sneak mode here. Place it behind the last grand stone. That should do it for layer one. And we can move on to layer two. To begin the second layer, we're going to place down one nether brick stair, two place the blocks behind it, and place a grand stone off the second one. So the grand stone should be facing towards that, towards the back of the tank. And also, we're going to need a few more placer blocks. Let's just go three out, if I remember correctly. Take another big stair, place... Oh, that was my script falling off my desk. Place two upside down another big stairs, so they look like this. Then one another big slab. Just want to make sure I got this right. Yep. Or it looks like it. Then one uh, lower nether brick slab. Then we're going to take a black carpet, place it on the last one, and that'll finish up the tracks. Just one more thing, actually. Place an item frame on this grindstone and a stone inside of it. And then we're going to place a row of one, two, and three. 
going to uh, link up these two grindstones in front of them. Another row of one and two and three stone walls. Find the row of stone, we're going to place down our row of one, two, three, and four. Another one, two, three, and four. So you should have a row of about three by five black stone. And then three stone on slabs behind the three rows of five. Take a item frame. And inside a cobweb for the, for the screws. Just like that. And oh, forgot to item frame this side. And there we go, and uh, layer 2 is all done. We can move on to layer 3. To begin the third layer, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, and 3 stone bricks on top of the first row of 3 stone. And in front of it, a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 uh, gray carpets. And place a stone brick slab to the side of the row of 3 stairs. And a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 stone in total. Another row of one, two, three, four, and five. And right in the middle, a row of three. And on this block, we're going to place off of it a stone brick stair. Now we're going to place down two, two stone brick stairs facing towards each other, going off this row of three stone. Place one stone right in the middle. And I think we're just going to wrap stairs around the edge. So it should look like this. Then a stone, brick slab, then a great carpet. This looks right. Yep, okay. To finish off the tank, we're going to place down one uh, great carpet on this last stone, uh, stone block. And then a great carpet on the second stone block from the side. So this one, same on the other side. We're going to take up stone button. Place two on each side in front of the gray carpets, and also one stone button right here. Now for the turret, let's just see if I, okay, it's just two stone. We we'll need our stone balls. Place two on either side. Take an end rod for the 37 millimeter barrel, one and two. And for the antenna, it's just two iron bars going off the right side, one and two. And that will finish off the Kamai Type 2 Amphibious Tank. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and see you next time.